morning everybody this is Lula in Hawaii I've just finished making a brooch and a cuff set and I thought I'd show you how I go about that the cuff has a buttonhole and an old glass button to close it so it would go like this first of all I gather my supplies and here I have a basket of lace pieces and this would be um, just about enough for about mm, six or eight bags and cuffs and things so I keep an assortment in there and whatever I don't use I put the snippets back in there and I must say there are two or three different colors in here some beige, coffee dyed, tea dyed, creamy white, old tatting, all sorts in there so I keep that, and that's sort of my inspiration box. I do have more in some other areas. Then I gather some beads. These are a combination of bugle, e-beads, and seed beads. And I used a whole tube of beads on the edge of this. And then I have some nice threads, some silk, and used a whole spool of silk, so now it's empty. And then some good quality silky white thread. That's for um, the beads, but basically I did use a beading thread and I waxed it. So first of all I cut out a shape I like and generally the smaller end is the end that will overlap. I'm not going to fasten it, but that's how that would go with the button showing through the, in this particular case. Sometimes I do them differently. And I gather up some pearls, stamp an image of Paris onto some linen and on this one I stamped more of a, a mail thing postage thing with Paris on it pick up a few scraps of old trim this is a it's not a diamante it's kind of a white stone trim and a few um, diamantes there three I think I put on that and as you can see a little bit of lace um, I think that has a little bit of tatting and some of the lace is kind of like beige and I layered it so that the creamy color would be on top and then I sat out on my lanai and I stitched the edge with the white seed beads just used the white on this because they were sort of daintier for a brooch and I stitched them on in groups of three or four and did sort of an overcast with that and then on the back I have the brooch pin so that's how I did that one now for the cuff, I found a fleur-de-lis in gold and I had a bunch of old pearls. In fact, I have a big box of old pearls. So I took them off the string. They have to have holes in them, not like the new ones that are kind of welded together. And first of all, I collaged the fabrics on top by hand, sort of loosely here and there, and just put some stitching with this thread to hold everything in place because I was going to bead it, it didn't need to be too heavily stitched then I added pearls around the motive and I added uh, the fleur de lis which I put a dab of glue on that and then sewed some bars across to hold that in place I made the buttonhole on my machine had to go over it twice and left the sewing on of the button till I had beaded the edge so first of all I put a nice soft um, it's like a cotton batting on the back and I sewed that around with a zigzag stitch on my machine that was before I beaded it then I turned it over, took it out to my lanai and sat for a couple of hours and beaded the edge and I beaded it basically what I call sort of higgledy-piggledy picked up whatever beads I fancied in groups of about three again and I tried to sort of repeat however when I came down to the narrow end the end that is going to be showing on top I decided not to add the big beads down there so much the e-beads which are these beads um, because I thought it might be kind of bulky with the button and all that and I wanted the button to be enhanced so I used just glass seed beads around that area. Sew them on again in groups of three 
so that when it's put together with a button it'll look like that and you'll see a lot of the glistening of because these are sort of silver lined beads and this has a sort of a silvery look to it. So that's actually the, the fastener and there's the other side and there's the fleur de lis. So that's how I went about making this cuff and brooch which I'm going to mail today. I have to go to the post office. I'm just getting it ready but I thought it'd be nice for you to see how I go about it. This is just one of the ways I do it. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching and come back and see me again soon. Bye-bye.